What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and you just can't help fix stupid. You can't fix stupid. It's just impossible. Here's your sign. You're dumb. You can't fix it. You just can't fix. Can't fix stupid. Can't fix stupid. Napleton Chrysler Dodge Deep Ram. The car is sold. That is a lie. Guys, today's video is being brought to you by the good people over at Morgan and Morgan Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, size does matter. They held, held, they handled over 20 million phone calls in 2023 alone. And uh, you do want that massive firm behind you when you're fighting massive insurance companies. Just saying. You can get started in eight clicks or less by going to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, that is forthepeople.com forward slash TK's garage and I truly appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's garage and in today's video update it's a driving vlog. Obviously I'm on my way out to uh Nellis Air Force Base. I got quite a drive before I get there. And uh I wanted to talk to you guys about the Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram situation. So Myself, and if you've seen people in the comments have and others have called to make a bid or an offer on this charger because it's still listed on True Car and a couple other places, but it is not on their website. They have pulled it. Um, quick search of the VIN and reaching out to our good friend at the Secretary of State's office who was able to reach out to the people at the wonderful Department of Motor Vehicles there in Illinois, and that car has not been sold. No, it has not. It hasn't been sold in any way, shape, or form. Them saying it's been sold, that was a lie. As Maury would say, that was a lie. You are the father. <laughs> you! These people just don't get it. Like, I, you know, sometimes, sometimes you know that people just don't have common sense, but this one here at Napleton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram between all of the scumbag stuff that we're doing and we have a bunch of videos on that this week reviews uh, interviews with customers that have been screwed by them uh, a customer who's making a forgery claim that they didn't sign documents and that they got a car loan when they refused to take a car that they processed the paperwork on the car anyway and then when you know the the finance company was calling the customer to say hey you haven't made a payment on your car he said i never took delivery of the car we're gonna see I, i'm getting all of that stuff there that at this point that's an allegation we'll see I, i'm waiting to get the uh he has an attorney i'm waiting to get the email from his attorney that's explaining that case and um i will be doing a full video on that i, I can't believe if they did that woo! oh but needless to say as a quick update for you guys yes i did reach out uh as you know whatever uh i didn't get most people don't know what my uh name is anyway unless you follow me directly on facebook or whatever so i um i reached out to the dealership and was like hey look i'll, I'll happily pay the the 100k over sticker or you know how, what's the situation how can we buy it and they were like, oh, the car's not for sale. They go, wait a minute, hold on a second. And they go get a manager or whatever. So you know what I did, right? Of course. I immediately went into, I, I'm definitely looking to purchase this Dodge uh, Charger King Daytona. I, I'm a huge Mopar fan, and I really like to get my hands on that car. You know, I have a, I have about 115000 in available cash that I could put on top of any financing that I do, and I'd happy to be able to finance through your dealership if we could come to some type of agreement. Hold on one minute, sir. Come back. They transfer me to somebody else, and they go, at this time, we're telling people that the car is sold, but... Um, we're just having to resolve some issues with the vehicle. Yeah, you're resolving some issues with the vehicle because you got a letter of representation from my attorney that's trying to force you to honor the price that you posted online that we can prove that you posted it at. That's what it is. What it is is you pulled it 
probably on the advice of your legal counsel, uh, because if you sell that car, that means I can also come after you for money. <laughs> so you done, so you don't pulled the car now. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> but it was funny because when they really think that they have a customer on the line that's willing to pay that money, they want to sell that car so bad. They want to take a bid, and I was like, I'd be willing to go. Let's say a hundred and eighteen thousand over sticker. Would that work for you? <laughs> See, let me explain. Uh, when before someone makes like a crazy ass comment or says something wild, let me explain. So, what I did for over twenty years uh, was I worked in intelligence. Some of you guys know I have an Arabic channel here on YouTube uh, where I was doing. I, I'm still gonna get back to posting over there. It's just having to redo all those videos uh, and shoot new videos in Arabic. It's going to be more new videos than redubbing old videos. But, um, you know, I, I speak Arabic fluently. I speak Pashto. I speak Urdu. I speak Mandarin. I speak Russian passively. Um, so some of you guys know that about me. A lot of others don't. So when someone goes, damn, how is he, how did he change his, how can he change his whole voice like that and sound like somebody completely different? Um, that's why. <laughs> It's not just the languages, it's that job. You know, I can sound like I'm from Ireland. I can sound like I'm from the UK. I can sound like I'm from Australia. I can sound like I'm from wherever the hell I want to be from. So, just saying. Anyways, it was very interesting to catch them on the line. Uh, and that they actually want to sell the car, but that the car is not for sale. It hasn't been sold. So, Napleton telling people that the car has been sold, that is a lie. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, as always, you know what time it is. Stay petty, my friends.